Recently I fitted the 6 liter LS style engine and transmission in the car. I am now going to go back and do some more body work. I have already completed or I've already started the rear wheel tub. Uh, I covered that in a previous video. I cut the support for the C pillar move the original wheel tub up by hitting it with a big hammer repeatedly, welded the support back, added a new uh, 22 gauge wheel tub and am reusing the original fender arch so that I have the exact same look. I did it the same way on the driver's side, now I'm doing the passenger side. I completely fitted the uh, passenger side rocker panel. It's 18 gauge which is extremely heavy but I'm using that gauge because I want the rocker panel extension to add structural rigidity to the car and I think it will do that. I took some 22 gauge uh, steel two inches wide, put a 90 degree bend in it and used the shrinker and stretcher to begin the door jam for this side of the car. I'm going to finish this in and then I'm going to take the bottom of the original door, the original front door, and trim it to fit in this area right here. I did the driver's side this way because at the time I did not have a bead roller or an English wheel because I was trying to do this project completely home garage and many people do not have those. But the difficulty of the project uh, has necessitated that I use those two tools and even though I can now build this bead roll on the machine, I'm going to do the passenger side exactly how I did the driver's side. So I will trim the original door skin to fit in this lower section here. And that will give me the exact same look as the driver's side. And after this is done, I'm going to wheel out a new upper fender and I am not going to be able to do it in one piece. That'll be two pieces, uh, and that'll probably be a whole video on its own. And I will talk about the technique of it, although I, it's not really an educational video because I am not an English wheel expert, not even close. I have one, and I have made a couple of things. So I'm basically a beginner sharing a beginner's video so that you guys can see me do stuff wrong and if you're smarter than me which is probably most of you you'll watch my videos and you'll say to yourself this guy is doing this wrong or he almost got that right but what he should have done and I get that because all of this is new to me uh, before this I just fixed some cars uh, and I didn't even fix them that good but I so I'm a beginner in, in basically everything with these cars. So if I do it wrong, let me know that I did it wrong and tell me how to do it the right way. So that's the project today. Finish the door jam, fit the lower part of the fender, and then start the new upper fender.
Here's a view of the new door jam. The shape is relatively good, although it's very difficult to work with the shrinker stretcher to make these panels exact, especially because there's a limited uh, width on the shrinker stretcher and beyond that you start to get wrinkles and the metal it will be too long to fit in the jaw so it's really for trim I, I think uh, but it, it works pretty good for what for this purpose so I'll show you the driver's side the center of this B pillar is reused and I also reused the upper part of the original B pillar but I switched sides so that it was at the correct angle for the window glass but from here to here is all of this is built by me and then all of this outside I built and I used the shrinker stretcher to make the inner piece the shrinker stretcher to make the outer piece and then filled in the places that I needed to fill in now it's in the door jam so nobody really is going to see it very often I am going to uh, put a little thin layer of body filler on it uh, that is mostly just to get the rubber trim to sit right. So I do have to build a little bit on this surface, but this surface just needs to be grinded and uh, filled in. And I still have to do a weld in this joint. I used a piece of quarter inch round rod uh, curved to fit the door, and I did that because I wanted a flat area that would be... Uh, presentable that's behind the gap of the of the door and I can build this up as high as I need so that the gap is very very minimal uh, between the the back of the door and the jam itself uh, so it, it everything on the car still needs a lot of finishing but this is the this is the style it's structurally sound and it works so that's exactly what I'm going to do on the passenger side today